what's up welcome back to my channel as you can already tell from the clips you have seen this morning today we are going through my 5 a.m morning routine this is also my first time talking today because i try to be quiet in the morning because colin is still sleeping upstairs so i try not to like talk and turn on lights or anything like that that's why i was using a flashlight to get around but this morning i already got up picked out my outfit made some pre-workout which i still have not finished <laughs> and then i went to the gym did a nice leg day and now we're home and now i am ready to go shower i'm gonna do a full body shower with my hair and everything i only wash my hair twice a week so usually it's just like a body shower or washing my face something like that but we're doing a full-on shower today because my hair is so <laughs> greasy it's disgusting so we're gonna go do that get dressed and come back down here and make some breakfast I have been using the same moisturizer literally since high school. It is the yellow one from Clinique. I think it's a gel moisturizer. It has done wonders for my skin. It's been amazing. But I think I'm finally making a switch. I got this little sample from Sephora when I ordered a few things of the Tatcha the Dewy Skin Cream. I think it's just a regular moisturizer. I haven't even looked it up actually. But I've been doing this instead as my moisturizer after my showers or after washing my face and I'm loving it. So it's very rare that I change up my skincare products but I'm really liking this so far and I think I will definitely be repurchasing in the full size. And if you guys saw one of my recent videos where I talked about how I want to switch up my skincare routine and add some products in I think this is definitely in the right direction of changing for the better all right now it's officially time to get started on breakfast I am going to make my classic breakfast that I always make we're gonna do a Trader Joe's hash brown Okay, some Trader Joe's maple chicken breakfast sausage. That is one of my favorites. We are going to do one egg, then a little bit of egg whites with that egg, and then a quarter of an avocado. This breakfast is my tried and true for a reason. I love the variety of having so many different things, and I feel like it keeps me really full throughout the morning. Between the protein from the eggs and the sausage, and then getting the avocado in there, and then I just love hash browns because potatoes are amazing. So I'm gonna get started by frying up the hash brown, and then add in the sausage. 
So while my breakfast is cooking, I thought we could talk about some tips on how to start doing a 5 a.m. morning routine if that's something that you want to do. I know I was one of those people for the longest time that said like, oh, I just want to be like a 5 a.m. girl, get up early, get my workout done, be efficient, and then I would never do it. And if you guys saw in some of my previous videos, I talked about how I tried to do it gradually by waking up five minutes earlier every morning. That was one of the stupidest ideas I have ever had that did not work at all if you're really wanting to wake up early for a workout first of all you're gonna have to go to bed early the night before you just have to do it so that you have enough energy you cannot go to bed at midnight and wake up at 5 a.m that is not enough sleep for your body and if you're trying to you know up your fitness levels or reach a certain goal five hours of sleep is not gonna cut it. It's not gonna be easy at first. I go to bed at 8.30 now, which seems so insanely early, but I pretty much just make up for all that time that I'm losing at night in the morning. And that's the trade-off that you're doing. You can't have the best of both worlds. You do kind of need to pick and choose. And so if you prefer to be a night owl, then skip the 5 a.m. workouts. You don't need to do them. But if that's something that you really, really wanna do, then you have to go to bed early. When I woke up from my first couple 5 a.m. workouts, I was working out at home just because I felt like it would be a better transition because I didn't have to travel to the gym. I'm not wasting all that time. And then I didn't feel as much pressure on myself if I woke up like 10 or 15 minutes late that day because I'm already just going straight into another room to do a workout anyways, and I'm not driving somewhere. So if you have the space in your home, I definitely recommend starting out with a home workout just so you can get used to the feel and waking up and doing a workout it's definitely super weird at first I am was not used to waking up and doing a workout first thing in the morning and then once I got comfortable and my body was used to doing that much movement first thing in the morning that's when I started going to the regular gym but at the end of the day you just have to want to do it because if in your heart you do not want to wake up at 4 45 in the morning to do a 5 a.m. workout you're not gonna do it. And that's something that I've realized with a lot of things in life. If you don't truly want it deep in your heart, you're not gonna get it. So lately when looking at a challenge for myself, I've been really thinking, do I really, really want this? Like, do I need to have this? What am I willing to do to make it happen? And here I am six months later, still waking up at 5 a.m. because I truly wanted it and it makes me so happy and I love doing it. I'm just a morning person. I did not used to be a morning person and now I naturally wake up at five in the morning, which is absolutely insane. Like on the weekends, I could not sleep past 5.30. I just can't do it. Especially because the sun comes up so early in the morning now because it's summer. Like once it's in the winter, I'll probably wake up a little bit later naturally on the weekends. But for right now, the sun's up at 5.30 and so am I. is served it looks so good and as we know I'm going to add ketchup on my hash brown of course I get the no sugar added one and then some Cholula for my eggs and then you guys saw I mixed up my greens I'm still taking my bloom greens in the morning I also ordered the new mango flavor and it's on its way I just got the shipping notification so I'm so excited to try that flavor can't wait another way to be motivated to either wake up or work out early in the morning is to make your morning routine fun like this morning I mixed up some pre-work Workout. I did not used to be a pre-workout girly, but now I am obsessed. Not because I necessarily need the caffeine, but I just enjoy the little ritual of putting it in a cute little cup and deciding which cup I'm gonna do, taking it with me, drinking it, taking little video clips of it for TikTok. Like I just think it's so fun to mix up a cute little drink in the morning and it makes me motivated to wake up. But you definitely do not need to be a caffeine junkie. You don't need to take pre-workout. That's not the only thing that a person can drink before going to the gym. You could even just mix up some pretty water doing like lemons, limes, or orange slices in some water or doing berries, making a nice cucumber spa water, whatever it is in the morning that gets you excited to wake up. And for me, it just happens to be a shitload of caffeine. So that's probably not good for me, but I have a lot of fun doing it. You also don't need to make a fun drink in the morning. I love Sydney Adams and I think a lot of people watch her now, but she's just like so cute in the morning. She pumps music. She's like dancing around the kitchen with her ice roller. That's definitely a vibe, but I definitely would not put
play music in my house just because Colin is sleeping and I don't want to be absolutely rude and Sydney Adams lives alone so it makes sense. But you could definitely put in earbuds and blast music that way if you live with other people like me and you don't want to be rude and wake them up. It definitely doesn't make it easier to wake up in the morning when you can't turn on the light in your bedroom like I did this morning. I just did my flashlight and Mimsy was cuddling me. I tried to take a picture in the dark. She was just so cute. I always feel bad leaving her in the morning. She just loves to cuddle. But sometimes Colin actually falls asleep on the couch in which I can turn on the light upstairs and not downstairs. So depending on the day, if he sleeps in the bed or falls asleep on the couch, I can turn on a different light in the house. So it kind of switches up my routine a little bit. So if you ever see me take a video clip on TikTok or on here of my clock in the dark, that is because Colin is sleeping next to me. <laughs> All right, I'm going to officially finish my breakfast before it gets cold because I've been talking way too long now. So I don't have a whole lot of time in the morning, but I do like to do just one chore before I leave for work so that I feel a little bit more productive and the house is a little bit cleaner when I come home. And right now I'm gonna take out the trash because it is full and I have a bunch of trash waiting on the counter because the trash is full and I haven't taken it out yet. So I'm gonna do that right now. You're my best friend. Didn't care about the rules, good on the weekends I'll be in fools, drifting the deep space So brave and so stupid, just like the movies How it's gonna stay in the fight with you Just thinking we would do this until we couldn't do it Each and every high, every night with you You and me so clueless Quick little makeup is done, just my eyebrows and some concealer, and then sometimes I blow dry my hair, sometimes I don't. And today I'm running a little bit late, so I am just going to skip it. All right, I'm all ready for work. I still have my pre-workout here. I am gonna finish it because I hate wasting stuff, and then I'll just mix up some BCAAs when I get to my desk. Normally I would also be bringing a lunch with me, but Con and I are gonna go out to lunch today, so I'm not bringing one. But that is my whole 5 a.m. morning routine. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up to let me know and don't forget to click subscribe down below so that you never miss another video and if you guys like seeing more sped up short versions of my morning routine make sure to follow me on tiktok i make a lot of my morning routines over there and they're only 15 seconds but this was a little bit more in depth for you guys so i hope you enjoyed it and i will see you guys next week in another video toodles